I'm driving to work listening to gospel as per my usual getting in the mode Monday routine and right on cue I see rush hour traffic coming but I've already got my morning coffee so I'm feeling generally invincible. As I'm cruising, the car in front of me jams on his brakes abruptly and I have to brake pretty fast right behind him but luckily I catch it in time and avoid spilling my coffee. It's little things. Before taking another sip of my salted caramel frap though, I figured I'd look in the rear view mirror only to see a car still coming and my bumper full speed ahead. He's gonna stop. He has to stop. No way he doesn't stop. Oh god, he's not stopping. Please stop. 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 Should I get out of the car? He kept going until he smashed into the back of my car, giving me textbook, test dummy, neck breaking whiplash. But more importantly than that, my wig goes flying into the windshield. Oh my god, I'm mortified. Jesus, please let me get this wig back on my skull before anyone approaches me in this goddamn car. No, Ugh, sorry. Oh god, amen. Frazzled, flustered, flummoxed, frantic, I dart my still dizzy eyes all over the front of the car and just as I'm starting to hear footsteps, I notice the wig on the floor of the passenger side seat. I snatch it up immediately and throw it on my head. The back is in the front, the front is in the back, it looks like I have bangs and the wig did not come with bangs. But it's not like I can see any of that, so I open the car door, crippled, concerned, but still confident. What happened? What's going on here? And the guys are like, why'd you stop? And I'm immediately sobered past my wig situation and engulfed with rage. Why, why'd I stop? It's traffic, you fucking idiot. And as soon as I was really getting ready to let him have a piece of my mind, the owner of the car he pushed my car into by rear-ending me comes out of his car. And admittedly, I'm thinking he's about to get spicy, so I'm ready to redirect all my aggression. And I'm looking at him like, what? And he just says so calmly, Hey, you're shorty. Your wig. Easily top 10 most embarrassing moments of my life. Thank you. I disappear back into my car until an ambulance comes and starts tending to me. And just as I'm all situated in the back getting taken care of, a cop comes over and hands me a stack of papers. That's all the information from the accident, ma'am. A, a ticket? Your tints, ma'am. They're 35%. You're not supposed to have tints, ma'am. Unfucking believable.